This is a demonstration of how to use the one minute NMR capillary NMR system. So your sample goes in a 12 millimeter micro vial with a conical bottom. It's important that your sample be filtered prior to loading it onto the system because we do not want to clog up the probe. The way to filter your sample is to use one of these filter tips. So you load the filter tip into the vial, place your sample into the filter tip, put the cap on, put it into the centrifuge, which I'm not going to show right now, spin down the sample, take out the filter tip, put the cap back on, and then put the vial into the tray. Now there are two trays. This one is the front. This is the rear. It's important that whichever tray you put your sample in, that you match it when you load it into the software, that you pick the same tray. And then the vials are numbered 1 through 54, so make sure that when you add your sample that the vial and the number that you mat load match. We're putting it in the front tray, vial number 1. Okay, then come over to the system, and there's four numbers, and you need to do them in order. One, two, three, four. So first thing to do is to log in, so put in your username, and then your password. And then number two, you want to put in the name. This name is saved to disk, so you should not use any spaces or funny characters. And then put in the title. This is the title that gets saved with your data, just like in Icon NMR. You can use whatever you want in here, including multiple lines of text. Um, and then here, choose the solvent. For now, we only have DMSO. We may consider adding more solvents down the road. And then choose the experiment. To choose multiple experiments, use control and select multiple experiments. If you just want to select one experiment, then just pick the one you want to run. To customize the experiments, pick which experiment you want to customize, and then change items about that experiment, such as the number of scans or the center of the spectrum. So if you wanted to put in more scans, you could do that here. OK, once you have everything set the way you want here, come over to step three. Make sure the tray is chosen matching the, where you loaded your sample. And then click on the dot for where your sample is. So this is sample number one all the way down to sample number 54. When you click on this, everything over here gets loaded into the system. So make sure everything in step two is finished before you click on step three. So we're going to click number one because our sample is in number one. And there will be a check mark on number one. That means it's ready to go. Finally, we need to run the sample. There's three options. A standard run, a priority run if you have that privilege, and a nighttime run. Nighttime will wait until after midnight to run. A standard run will run as soon as possible, and a priority run will run before everything else if you have that privilege. So in this case, we will click on Run, and then the sample will run. Coming over here, the first thing it will do is wash the syringe. washes the syringe by taking the DMSO solvent, loading it into the syringe, and then flushing it into the waste. And then, then it does a second wash. After it's finished washing, it's going to load your sample. Your sample should be between 25 and 50 microliters in volume. The loading volume is 22 microliters, so you want to have slightly more than the loading volume. So it's going down now, loading 22 microliters of sample from the bottom of the vial. If you have more than that, it doesn't matter. 
but you'll, it won't be loaded into the system. Once it's loaded it into the syringe, it will move to the injection port and inject it into the system. After it's finished injecting it into the system, it's going to wash the syringe again. While it's washing the syringe, it is pumping your sample into the probe. The sample goes through this capillary down into the probe. It takes about a minute for it to go from the automation system into the probe. So right now it's pumping through the, through the capillary into the probe. At the same time, it's washing the syringe to get ready for the next sample. It also washes out the sample loop again so that none of your sample that was in the sample loop remains in there for the next person. On the screen here, it shows a flashing FID. This means that it's running, although it may not actually be acquiring data yet. But when it's finished, this flashing icon will change to red, which means that the sample has finished. Once it's finished, you can log into the spectrometer the normal way and access your data using SFTP, just like you would on any other NMR spectrometer.